Hooray! Let me just step in myself. We finally got him! Hooray! We can evolve him! Let's go! I've been waiting for this very moment, guys. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. Alright. They got Miral Durag. Let's go evolve him. What's his name? Blue Admiral? Yeah, evolve. Bam, boop bop. So Blue Admiral War. So when you evolve him, you need one Admiral Durag, which you can get from challenges. And you need 35 Spirit Shards. Let's go. Damn, that looks so cool. All right, claim these. How much rerolls? We have six. Let's spin them. All right, what, what are we going to get? Let's go and roll on Gen Goku. Yo, my alt account just recently got glitch. So imagine I get glitch again in this account, but who knows? Anyway, let's go equip him. Oh, he had cost 650 yen now. What the flip? Yo, might be meta, guys. Now let's go ahead and go jump to an infinite and find out if this unit is meta. Let's go. Hooray. So happy. I can finally play Valorant, guys. I've been practicing playing Valorant because I'm so bad, but no one cares about Valorant. This is a Roblox channel. But yeah. Now, what we're going to do is get our money up. Oh my gosh, he cost 650 yen to place down. That is actually not that bad. But it is pretty bad, especially in maps that have like. It is a big map. So, with him having like a poor uh range at the start is not really the best but hey we can just place him down right now and he has the same sound effects as gakko i just realized so what an unfortunate thing and he's a ground oh pretty nice yo that looks so clean look at him damn so cool All right, let's keep placing our farms. Hooray. We're just going to upgrade our farms. Oh my gosh. Gojo Satoru Suppress. That's insane. All right, keep upgrading our farms. But that thing that you just saw, Gojo Satoru Suppress, that is a bug, by the way. Do not mind it. I'm so excited to see how strong Blue Admiral War is. By the way, it is 6 a.m. in the morning and I've been awake for a very long time. So if I am not hype as I am usually on my videos, that may be why. All right. Okay, let's just keep upgrading our farms. Let's go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the update. I wonder if the next update is next week. It's uh kind of crazy if they actually do weekly updates imagine they do do weekly updates that would, that would be insane oh my gosh damn let's go i mean to be fair they were able to fix a lot of bugs in two days like think about that in two days they fixed a lot of bugs imagine what they could do in a week oh my gosh that is a lot look at that damn that's crazy his model looks amazing he has a aura going on his cape is moving he has glasses now i'm pretty sure yeah we're just going to upgrade our farms let's go he does for he does freeze and i'm pretty sure it is uh damage over time we'll find out at the last upgrade whether what trait is best for blue at mirror war and for anyone who have seen um you know i'm a tester for this game and i am not planning to do a showcase on the units like a short video of the newer units because it is unfair especially on how testers can easily just record it and what happens to the youtubers who actually works hard for the unit to evolve like you, do you guys know do you guys understand how unfair that is 
but yeah so that's why i'm a tester for this game but i'm not doing all that because it's unfair for everybody else i want to play it fair yeah so if i see if i whenever i see youtubers who actually post the showcase when they are t tester like post the video like blam's ball oh my gosh it's so annoying because it ruins the purpose because he doesn't even grind for like i know he's not an owner anymore we're chilling but there are some lame spot juniors out there now so haha if you're watching my video hello hopefully i don't know man just doesn't sit right with me on how you can just showcase the unit when there's actual youtubers out there who uh you know who works hard for the unit to get evolved and then you just show it without even grinding for it all right let's get it so his base stats are 2310 damage with 10 sp 10 range and 5 spa next upgrade his stats are 4850 damage with 15 range and 5 spa not too bad not too shabby all right upgrade our farms next upgrade his stats are 6720 damage with 20 range and 5 spa Next upgrade, his stats are 9,390 damage with 25 range and 5 SPA. Ooh. Alright, next upgrade, he will gain a brand new ability called Frost Walking. Let's see on how amazing this is. Is it the same as the uh, last time I showcased him? I think so. Frost Walking. Ooh. He has a bigger line AoE now. That's pretty awesome. Alright, next upgrade. Oh wait, he's starting to get expensive, yo! But upgrade 4, his stats are 30,400 damage with 30 range and 7 SPA. Next upgrade, his stats are 33,500 damage with 35 range and 7 SPA. Okay, two more upgrades to go, guys. Look at how big that range is. Oh my gosh. 40 range, that's insane. Let's go. Upgrade 6. His stats are 45,200 damage with 40 range and 10 SPA. And finally, oh, as you guys can see, he is a, he's a hybrid unit now. Oh my gosh. And he's a full AoE, by the way. And at max upgrade stats, his stats are 63,300 damage with 50 range and 10 SPA. And he doesn't seem like he does freeze think that's a bug he's supposed to do freeze still let me know down in the comments down below if he still does freeze because he is supposed to maybe the indicator is just not there but how many can you place this you how many can you place you can place one only one only two i'm sorry guys i'm like so sleep deprived but yeah you can place two of these units that is actually pretty good like look at that he's fully right there but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye, guys.